Sample, a mnemonic or memory device, is used to gather patient history information to understand the patient's complaint and make treatment decisions. Sample is the start of a conversation between you, the investigator, and the patient, your research subject. Signs are what you can measure, such as heart rate or respiratory rate. Signs are also what you can hear or see. You can auscultate wheezing or see a bruise. Symptoms are what the patient complains about. Symptoms are the patient's subjective description of their illness or injury. Asking, are you allergic to any medications? Limits the patient's response to just medications. Follow up with, do you have any other allergies we should know about? Or ask a broader question, do you have any allergies? Or are you allergic to any foods, medications, or insects? Asking the patient what medications do you take is a starting point. Ask the patient if they are taking those medications as prescribed. Also ask the patient if they use any over-the-counter medications, supplements, or homeopathic formulations. Ask do you have any medical conditions or history we should know about. Instead of past medical history, focus your inquiry on pertinent medical history. Use follow-up questions about the outcomes of previous illness or injury to gather additional information. Cast a wider net than just asking about the last thing the patient had to eat or drink. And ask have you been eating and drinking normally. If yes, ask what is normal for you. Or if no, ask what has kept you from eating normally and for how long. For patients with abdominal pain complaints, asking about their last outs, urination, and bowel movements is relevant and appropriate. Frequency, color, smell, and consistency may also provide useful information for patients who have a fever, gastrointestinal, or genitourinary pain complaint, or a recent history of abdominal or pelvic trauma. The final questions are an opportunity for the patient to give you a frame-by-frame -frame description of the events leading up to their illness or injury. For a traumatic injury, better understanding the mechanism of injury might help identify additional injuries or even risks for repeating the injury.